we all hope and dream for those gorgeous home offices that you usually see on Pinterest. But what if all you have is a corner of your bedroom, a corner of your living room, a corner of your dining room? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my small yet functional home office workspace that is in the corner of my dining room as a matter of fact. I just wanted to stop and thank all 1400 of you that are subscribed to this channel. I appreciate every single one of you and if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. One of my favorite parts of my small office home space is this chair that I got from Ross. It's super comfortable and adds a pop of color to my home office workspace. Next is this desk that we got from Ikea. Actually, it is a dining table. We originally used it as a dining table. We are a family of three, so we're small enough to fit around it. But then we upgraded and I decided to use this as my office desk. And it's big enough to hold all the things I wanted to hold as well as hold my computer desktop. of my computer desktop I have an HP pavilion and I think this is about a 20 inch screen it's large and I love it I absolutely love it just because it is um, the kind where when I'm writing I can see everything in bold and beautiful um, text and colors so I really love to have a big screen I also have um, this webcam that I typically use for Zoom calls, that I use for podcast interviews. It's really handy. I do have a built-in webcam to my computer, but for some reason, it's not functioning as well as it should. Next is this keyboard here. This is not the original keyboard, hence why it's so dusty. Um, it's an old keyboard I had and I'm now using it for this one. I also have this um, blue um, snowball microphone. That's actually what I'm recording this voiceover on. I love this microphone. I use it for podcasting. I use it for Zoom calls. It has so many um, great uses. I also have this decorative board over here. I got this one at Ross. It comes with the letters already and you can change them out. So it's really nice for writing like little inspirational messages to just encourage yourself. I wrote this one just before I filmed this do good work. Um, it's just handy for writing so many things and just add something decorative to the workspace. I also have some post-it notes um, as well as a to-do calendar that all come in super handy. And this one here is um, a to-do list that I got also from Ross, um, actually you know, from Staples, and it, it comes in handy when I'm organizing my day. I got these, I don't know what they're called, but they're boxes that you can kind of use to organize all kinds of things from Ikea. And I use it to hold um, random papers over here. I have some random papers in here, some envelopes. I also have um, my selfie stick that holds my phone. Um, that comes in helpful sometimes. Um, I also have a set of headphones in case I want to plug in directly to my computer and just listen in. On the other side of the computer, I have two extra boxes just like the one I just showed you and that I use to organize some envelopes and paperwork for my husband. So um, yeah, so that it doesn't cause a mess because it was beginning to cause a mess in my space. So I just organized them for my husband. Anyway, so that's that. And then of course, no desk space is complete without stationery. So I have all my pens organized in this little jar I got from the Dollar Tree as well as I have paper clips in my office area to hold any um, papers that need to be held. One of the things I recently added to my workspace was this um, dry erase board that you can put dates in. I've actually had this for maybe three years, um, but recently rehang it up, up in my space when I started to work more from home, of course, because of the current situation. So I love it. And since today was May 1st, I actually um, erased the dates for April and began to put in 
the dates for May so that I could begin planning May because I kind of like to have like a good visual overview of what my day and even a week or even a whole month looks like. I have some ideas that I really want to work on for May so I'm putting that up there. So that's an overview of my functional small home office. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up.